Hey guys, Thundee E here and welcome to our first look at the Huawei P40 Pro. And of course, this is a gaming centric first look. But this device is stunning at first glance. Huawei has crafted something that looks really good in any lighting conditions. And they do this on a regular basis with the P line. So I'm glad to see it here. It's frosted back. Now this version I have is frosted back, but there are other versions of the colors that I believe the only two colors with the frosted back. Now, when you look at the back of the device, you can clearly see the camera array. And yes, this houses a 50 megapixel sensor. It also houses a 5X optical uh, and of course an ultra wide time of flight sensor. There's a lot of information packed. And we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Um, but when we bank around to the front of the device, the first thing you clearly see is that it also has a dual camera setup in the front, 32 megapixels, time of flight. Again, we'll talk about that in when we go to the camera. But that display though has uh, quad curved corners, if you will. So each corner of the display is curved and also its resolution is 2640 by 1200, full HD plus. It's at 6.5 inches. But the main thing we care about, it's a 90 hertz display, which means of course, uh, while you're browsing the web and scrolling around, it's fast, it's smooth, but also when you're gaming, you're gonna get better uh, fluidity and motion while you're gaming. And that's the kind of thing that I like with this kind of devices. And I'm glad to see that Huawei has it here. Now, some of you might go, why not 120 hertz? I, which is great, but I think um, kind of looking at what we have currently in an Android space, I think that supporting 90 hertz for them, they are probably going, well, there are a lot of games that support 90 hertz. This makes a lot of sense. So, hey, maybe that's what they did, but I like that they've actually gone and done that with this device. Now, it's powered by the Kirin 995G, and the 995G uh, looked impressive to me initially. Uh, it was just more responsive in terms of gaming performance and also uh, being able to push a little bit higher benchmarks, which you see a little bit in this video. Uh, now, this comes with 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage on the device as well. Uh, now, it also comes with a single mono speaker, though loud, so uh, you take a listen, but why not even waste any more time and check out some gameplays from Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, Fortnite, King of Fighters, and a few games that are 90 hertz as well. All right, that was quite impressive. I think what you notice, at least from first glance with the Huawei P40 Pro, that gaming-wise, the 995G as well as the um, 8 gigs of RAM uh, handles really well. Uh, fluidity in motion was really nice. The display really responded well, uh, of course, at the higher frame rates. And seeing games like King of Fighters play at uh, 90, uh, 90 hertz as well as also uh, Shadow Fight 3, I think was really nice. The other thing, of course, some people might wonder is what about streaming services? Can you actually play and open up those apps on your Huawei device? Yes, you can. Whether you're playing Project X Cloud or uh, GeForce Now, they work really well. And of course, playing, imagine the fact that you can play something like, um, you know, Call of Duty War, uh, Warzone on your mobile device, on this device itself here. Uh, it's 
totally worth it and makes a whole lot of sense. Now, you're thinking, okay, what about the battery size? It's a 4200 milliamp battery. Um, and yes, it's a small battery, but Huawei does a really good job with its battery management. I was quite impressed with what I initially saw with this device. I would say that, look, for the amount of time I shot this video with, which is pretty much the day before this video came out, uh, um, in about four hours, I drained about 40%, which was good. Now, speaking of that, uh, Huawei also cut, packs this device with a 40 watch charger. So it gives some really fast charging time, but it's also coupled and supports a 40 watt wireless charger. That is insane. That's, yeah, yeah, that's truly insane. Uh, plus, I, it does have, of course, reverse wireless charging. Now, that isn't, that's nuts. So you've got all this stuff packed into this device, and you know we now move back to those cameras that we talked about earlier, and what they bring to the table. The front-facing camera actually does a really good job with you know portrait shots, uh, and uh, the rear cameras, are, of course, while we is trying to continue its legacy with the P line, where photography is one of its biggest things, and the photos look really sharp, they look vibrant, uh, the low-light photos also look good. Again, my initial impression says so nothing set in stone, but I'm liking what I see here uh, from what the P40 Pro brings to the table. Now for you guys, if you want to see more of those camera comparisons and things like that, let me know. Leave the comments down below. If you want to see a camera review as well of the P40 Pro, I'll gladly do that for you. I think overall though, what this brings to the table with the kind of performance it packs um, and also uh, the features it packs in here. Uh, think about it, it's, it's uh, screen unlock is just super fast and the fingerprint sensor has been really, really responsive. So there's a lot here to see uh, with the P40 Pro and uh, I, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay safe and always enjoy your entertainment.